In this video we will look at the basic properties of soils and rocks. We will expand on the uh, properties of soils and rocks in later videos. All civil engineering structures are supported by rocks and soil. Uh, many structures are also composed of rock, soil or both. We need to be familiar with the properties of the underlying rocks and soils to ensure the road is designed and constructed so it will not settle excessively or otherwise fail. The study of rock and soil is called geotechnical engineering. Geotechnical engineers have specialised knowledge of rocks and soils and their behaviour. They usually do the design of earthworks. However, everyone involved in a roading project needs to understand how the rocks and soils they are working with will behave. Rock is a solid aggregate of minerals which the earth crust is built of. Rock is exposed to weathering which causes it to break down into soil. There are several different types of weathering. Mechanical weathering is the breakdown of the parent rock by free processes such as freezing and thawing, erosion and abrasion. Basically it just gets broken down. Chemical weathering, such as the reaction of rock minerals with water and air, can change the chemical composition of the soil. So some minerals in the rock will dissolve um, or change uh, when they are exposed to air or water. Biological weathering is the breakdown by living things. The main mechanism of biological weathering is plant roots growing into fissures and cracks in the rock and wedging the rock apart as they grow. Burrowing animals can also expose the rock or weathered rock to air and water, so accelerating the chemical and mechanical weathering processes. So a soil is uh, the sediment deposits of so solids particles produced by the natural disintegration and degradation of rock. This diagram shows how the degree of weathering changes as you go deeper. So looking at the bottom, rock deep in the ground is not exposed to weather and so it remains in its original form. Higher up in the rock soil profile we find the rock has been exposed to weathering and is in the process of breaking down into soil. Weathering starts with the rock cracking which allows water into the rock mass and hastens weathering around the cracks. This causes the rock to break into pieces. The surfaces of the rock pieces continue weathering, breaking the rock down to even smaller pieces and so on up through the soil rock profile until the rock is completely broken down into soil. Some rocks have minerals that react with water and air and so are prone to chemical weathering as well as mechanical and biological weathering. Over time these chemical reactions can completely change the rock into clays or silts which have completely different properties from the parent rock. For example, granite rock usually breaks down into sandy soils, while basalt can break down into clay soils. Other rocks are composed of minerals that are less affected by water or air, and so they are mainly broken down by mechanical weathering only, the soil and the soil retains the rock properties. This is how most sands and gravels are produced. A common example of this is quartz which is broken down to form quartz sand. The quartz sand grains have the same mineral makeup and strength as the parent rock. The soils on the surface are more exposed to the weather and air and so break down quicker. The top layer is also exposed to plants and animals. Dead animals and plants compose on the surface into organic compounds. These organic compounds mix with the inorganic soil from the weathering of the rock to form organic soils such as topsoil. Organic soils are usually rich in nutrients and minerals that allow plants to grow. We'll now look at the properties of soils and rocks in a little bit more detail.